Hello friends, in my this video, I am going to discuss another very interesting lead code problem and that is maximum number of balloons. Okay, so what is the problem? Let us try to understand. Given a string text, you want to use the characters of text to form as many instances of the word balloon as possible. You can use each character in text at most once return the maximum number of instances that can be found okay that means in simple words you will be given one text from that particular text using the characters of the text how many times you can form the word balloon okay b a double l double o n so see here particular this consider this particular example one n l a e b l o k o if this is the example see b is appearing only one time o is appearing two times so then a is appearing so b one time a one time b a completed then l is appearing two times l uh, 2l criteria completed so b a double l completed two times o is coming so double also completed and n is appearing one time so b a double l double o n okay spelling is completed so only one time i can form that there is no chance for other uh, once more so that output should be one for a consider the uh, consider this example two L double O N B A L X B A L L P double O N. Now you just consider B is appearing two times, right? Now A is appearing two times. Okay. L is appearing here once, here once, here once, here once, fourth time. Okay. Then O is appearing here two times and here two times. So two times O also and N also appearing two times. So for the word, the required number of characters are appearing double double times. L is L uh, for balloon. Two L's are required here. Four L's are coming. Two B are uh, one B is required for one balloon, but two B are coming here. Uh, one A required for one balloon, but two A are coming here. So if you consider all the characters are coming twice twice, so obviously no doubt I can form two balloons. By taking each character of this particular string only one time, because here it is clearly mentioned that you can use each character in the text at most once. Okay, if you consider example three, lead code L W T C O D, no characters of balloons are appearing, so output should be zero. Constant are given. Text consists lower case of English letter only, so you no need to think about case sensitivity. And one less than equal to text dot length less than equal to ten to the power four. Try to think about one particular algorithm which can be used to solve this particular problem using worst case time complexity as O of n. Okay, pause my video. Try to think, implement that. Check whether it is giving correct output or not. If it is giving, well and good. If it is not giving correct output or you are stuck in uh, somewhere, so then check my video further. Okay. Uh, so here I am discussing the solution. So what I will do. I will store all the characters of that input string in a set, whether that may be tree set or has set or link head set does not matter. I will store all the all the characters in a set, and then I will traverse from the beginning of the string to the end, and I will check what is the frequency of B, what is the frequency of O, what is the frequency of L, what is the frequency of A, what is the frequency of N. Okay, I have to take Half of the frequency of appearance of L because L is appearing two times, right? So if you want to construct one balloon, two L's are required. So suppose uh, you are getting four L's, that means two balloons can be formed using that in the best case, right? So basically, you have to take half frequency for L and O, all right? And then you just check what is the minimum among the frequency B, A, L, O, and N. And that minimum is nothing but the uh, uh, number of times uh, I can form balloon word using that sentence. That means basically we are trying to calculate the frequency of B A L O N separately using tree set, and then I will take the minimum one to uh, uh, to get the uh, value that how many time I can form the balloon using that particular uh, string which we are passing through our function. Here I have written one simple function. See, uh, class solution. The solution is our class name and public int 
max number of balloons string text so max number of balloons is our function name return type is obviously integer because we have to return how many uh, times i can form the balloon string using the characters of the string which we are passing through our this function and the string which we are passing here string text so the name of the string the name of the variable is text okay here i am creating one tree set if you want you can use hash set or linked hash set no issue in that so tree set character because character set i have to make now i want to store all the characters of that uh, uh, text so tree set character al a is our tree set variable name new tree set character all right and then i am storing all the characters of the uh, text in the tree set so for int i equal to 0 i less than text dot length i plus plus al dot at text dot character that's all now i have to count the number of appearance of b a l o and n separately so that i have what i have done int b equal to 0 int a equal to 0 int l equal to 0 int o equal to 0 int n equal to 0 all the variables i have initialized as 0 right then i am again traversing from the beginning for int i equal to 0 i less than text dot length i plus plus now what i will do i have to count the frequency so first i have to check if a l dot contains text dot caret i if that particular text uh, character text is present in a l obviously that will be present at least once it will be present because we have formed the a l using the text only if it is present i am going to check if text dot caret i equal to equal to b that means we have found the first b so we are incrementing the b variable b stands for the um, first character of balloon okay so b equal to b plus one like that you have to follow for all other characters of balloon else if text dot caret i equal to equal to a then a equal to a plus one else if text dot caret i equal to equal to l then l equal to l plus one else if text dot caret i equal to equal to o then o equal to o plus one else if text dot caret i equal to equal to n n equal to n plus one like this using the tree set we can count how many times or what is the frequency of b a l o and n separately all right now what we can do we can we have to take as i have told you l equal to l by 2 o equal to o by 2 because if two times l is appearing then you can form only one balloon okay so frequency you have to divide by 2 that's all and then we have to find the minimum among all the variables b a l o n so int min equal to 0 and i have created one array a m using that b a l o n and then mean i have initialized as b and I will uh, take extract each and every character and I will uh, continuously update that using math.min function. I hope you are all are familiar with this basic inbuilt function in Java. So for int i equal to 0, i less than am dot length i plus plus mean equal to math.min mean comma am of i. Okay, so each time I am updating whatever is mean that it will be stored in the mean variable. And finally, I am returning the mean. Okay, so let me submit this to show you that whether the code is working or not okay so see runtime faster than 7.13 percent of java online submission number of balloons memory usage is uh, less than 100 percent of java uh, uh, online submission of maximum number of balloons so faster than 7.13 percent means you can optimize the code using some other algorithm too here i have shown one particular way because solving for solving one particular problem there is n number of possible solutions you can follow your uh, your algorithm if your algorithm is uh, computing this particular problem in lesser time no issue in that okay i am going to post the same code in the comment section of my this video if you want you can check there thank you for watching